Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. It's another Monday morning prayer. And yes, I had to go back to where it started. Uh, I had to spend some time with my family this past weekend. And it was it was really awesome. Um, I really had a good time. But listen, um, I got a quick word for you today. I hope that you're having a good weekend. I mean, I hope that you had a great weekend. I really do hope I hope that you had a great weekend. And, and when I when I spent time with my family, and when I say it's so important to spend time with the people that you love, I'm telling you, it put a, a smile on my face. It was so awesome. And uh, just to see them smile, just to see that they had a good time, it was really, really good. But listen, I got a quick word for you. I'm not going to hold you long. I need you to stop comparing yourself to people in this season. I need you to stop comparing yourself to people in this season. Here, Here's the deal. This past weekend, I was uh, working out. And I was on the treadmill, right? And as I was on the treadmill, it was this gentleman that entered the gym. And um, in, in my apartment complex um, a gym, the treadmills are, are side by side. So here's the deal. As he got on to the one that was right beside me, I started going his pace. I started following him for about at least three to five seconds. And I, and I said, hold on, what am I doing? I need to be running my own pace. <clears throat> I need to be running my own race. And so... Um, that's what we have a tendency to do at times at, at times in life. We have a tendency to focus on what somebody else is doing. Look to our right or look to our left. And see, okay, that's working for them. That's working for them. So I need to do that. Only thing that we have to do in this season is continue to do what God has called us to do. If someone makes it before us, great. If someone makes it before you, great. If someone gets uh, married before you, great. If someone gets their degree before you, great. You have to do things on God's timing for your life. And that will help with depression. That will help with anxiety. That will help with stress. If we focus on running our own race. The word of God says it like this in Galatians 6, 4, and 5. Each one uh, should test their own actions they can take pride in themselves alone without comparing themselves to someone else. For each one should carry their own load. So in this season, I need you to focus on what God has called you to do. And as you focus on what God has called you to do, you won't miss any opportunities. And you can uh, less, you can uh, be, uh, you can worry less, you can stress less, and you can be able to have a uh, a stress-free life I have I'm gonna tell you like this I have been so blessed mentally and I've been able to finally breathe when I stop comparing myself to other people I'm starting to realize that things are gonna happen in God's timing for my life and I I am learning to be at peace with that and that's the reason why I gave this word, because this word is for me too. As we continue to grow in God, as we continue to elevate in God, God will show us in the, the areas where we need strength, where we're weak in. Because I had a tendency that I was doing that, comparing myself to other individuals, other mind ministries, or other churches, or what have you. As we focus on what God has called us to do, we will continue to grow in him and he will do the promoting he will do the elevating in our lives spiritually financially emotionally because he will give us the ideas that will help us take us that will help take us to the next level in him and also in our lives Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for that powerful word. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives. We're appreciative. We're grateful, Father God. We're thankful for this beautiful Monday. The sun is shining, and we're happy. And if we're not happy, Father God, we ask, Lord, that you touch us in the areas where we need healing and deliverance, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We ask, Lord, that you cover our children and that you keep us and you strengthen us in our minds, Father God, because we understand that's where the battlefield starts in the name of Jesus, Lord. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I hope that you have a blessed day. 
in the name of Jesus. And I hope you like my cut.